given now in this video we're gonna see how to analyze data in app info if you go to app info folder then we'll launch the app info here we're gonna use the analyze data we can do this in two ways like classic or visual dashboard uh, i'll prefer you to use visual dashboard because it is so much user friendly now we can we can actually analyze data in two ways by using this enter data first go into enter data then use the open form then i'll load a dummy project which is equally the equally red project for this two okay now it has two page, pages in it like this is the first page and this is page two okay now it has like case id date of interview first name last name sex date of birth age all this filled in this now we can analyze this data by clicking this tab right here dashboard click on it and this dashboard opens it has this data source with a script 9 record and i'm uh, analyzing this data now i'm gonna close this this also and i'm gonna click on visual dashboard okay so i'll set the data source again we go to the browse equally equal to that prj code history and click ok it has to the data with a script 9 record now here first of all we're gonna see the frequency here add and list gadgets and frequency we're gonna see the frequency of age click ok here we have all the frequency data like for 7 you have to hit age there is 1 person 11 years 1 person 12 years 11 person there is a whole lot data here for all the ages what if I want to see this in like data ranges like 7 to 11 years, 12 to 13 years then here I can hover my mouse on define variable the new variable with recoded values here I gonna source field is age I gonna name it as age group I just use the field type with numeric now I what I can do this text okay, okay yeah I will leave it as a text that's not a problem I can manually fill the data here from 2 to 3 2 to 4 I can let the uh, app info do the work like fill ranges start value will be 0 and value will be 100 and it will short it by 10 I'll click OK. It will be like this. Again, we'll click OK. See. Have it variable. Okay. Now I'm gonna click here again.